morning. We might be getting our first smile right now. Okay, ready? <gasps> That's a little smile. I haven't seen you smile in five days. Yeah. Peekaboo. I won't push you. You don't have to smile yet, but it was very exciting seeing a little, tiny little corner smile, huh? It has been five days since Cassie has smiled. That's pretty big. Are we getting your pain meds under control? helping yeah. who's that Hi. Hi, Smiley. Did that feel so much better? All right, a little update. So I switched her NG to the other side because she puked it out. And then she puked out a lot more and she's been having some old blood in her puke. But when I put her new NG in, she has a lot left in her stomach. So we're gonna give her a little bit of bowel rest and we're gonna give her some fluids and we're gonna come up with a new plan. I was really hoping that um, her heart failure was the cause of all of her her gut issues and they said it still very well could be. It's just going to take a few weeks for her body to adjust to the new blood flow and get all of that pumping and working. But for now we do have to figure out how are we going to feed her and have her tolerate it. Huh mommy? The scariest part of being able to go home in a swift time is tolerating feeds. So praying and hoping that we can get some good food tolerance feeding tolerance done soon but I'm happy to see her smile I got this amount out of her tummy and she instantly started smiling she's like ah that feels so much better yeah that feels so much better yeah does that feel so much better yeah all right we've got it all packed up I'm gonna go put it on the cart we are leaving the ICU. We're gonna go over to the cardiac floor and finish our hospital stay over there. Big steps, every day. Every day is big steps. What are your thoughts on moving over to the floor? Yeah, that's what you think about it? What about, what about the ICU? Did you like the nurses? Yeah, me too. Are you excited to go see what your new room looks like? Yeah? And can mommy show you the favorite gift we got? I tried to buy this Wubbanub months ago and they are no longer, they're like out of stock. You cannot get them. And look, we got one. We're gonna match our zippers, huh? Are you happy now? Look at Cassidy coming back. I see Miss Cassidy's personality coming back. I feel better, huh? Good morning. I see you. Gig, gig, gig. Gig, gig, gig. Yeah. Good job. Thank you for letting mommy have a shower and breakfast this morning. It's a big treat today, huh? <laughs> How are you? Oh, fresh air feels good. Your hot face feels good. Do I get to kiss you? Kiss you. I miss you.
laundry time. I've got a full load. So my mom was very genius. We measured out a load of laundry from our laundry detergent and put it in here. So this is a little break getting off of the floor. We're coming into the little family waiting room area. They have a laundry machine and it's 99% of Cassidy stuff. We have been in the hospital for, today is day six. So one load of laundry, maybe good. No one's in this wonderful little family suite. <sighs> Yesterday evening, we got out of the ICU and moved over to the cardiac floor, which was a huge milestone, um, but we've had a rough 12 hours. Cassidy has needed some extra pain support, and this morning she was inconsolable for about an hour. I, I can't believe how much has changed, how much has happened in six days. I'm very thankful for Philip to have been able to keep you up to date on kind of what was going on with Cassidy. My mind was just fully and completely on her and what she needed and what a transition from walking in and seeing her and like almost not even recognizing her to now where she is on feedings. She is getting feedings through her NG tube and she is getting little bottle trials. Right now, we are just getting her blood pressure under control with medication. So that is what's keeping us here. Her pain control, that is what's keeping us here. And getting onto full feedings, that is what's keeping us here. So those are the things that we are working on right now. We should probably be home within a week. I feel like we would have to have a very big step backwards for us to not be home this time next week. They're doing good. That's all that matters. They're doing really well. Proud of them. Well, today has been a long day. I mean, literally for six hours, she was on and off, hysterical. She cried for an hour. We spent a lot of time consoling. We gave meds. We ended up giving her IV morphine and that calmed her down for about a half an hour. And when she woke up again and was inconsolable again, they felt like it wasn't pain related. They want to do a workup, make sure there's nothing else going on made sure nothing else was going on, and then uh, decided to give her some Ativan. It's kind of like a anti-anxiety medication, and it has calmed her down, and she has now slept for six and a half hours. So she is just moving around, starting to wiggle a little bit after six and a half hours of sleeping. So I have no idea how tonight is going to go. I am not expecting to sleep much, I'm hoping that if we can get her back to sleep and she can sleep through the night after this big huge long stretch of sleep maybe she will feel better when she wakes up. Well, friends, it is over 24 hours. So it's one of those days where I'm in the same clothes from yesterday. I finished breakfast at 1.30 in the afternoon. We have had a day. So Philip and I had some harder conversations. I think being frank and honest, just the stress of everything, it brings it out of you. Even Philip and I that are awesome communicators we get over things really easily we're totally fine now but just the stress um, that's coming up of he's at home taking care of life and the girls and I'm here with Cassidy screaming for hours so it's been really busy and non-stop but I'm seeing glimmers that she is getting better I want to tell Philip like I love you and I wish I could be hugging you right now and not stressing 
we found ourselves yesterday just stressing with each other instead of breathing and just hugging each other and saying, whoa, what did we just go through? Hi, you want some oxygen? Yeah, it's close to break. Um, she is with a different patient right now. Oh, okay. So I'm just kind of coming in for it. No, that's perfect. She's just showing me a little glimmer. I'm like, I, I want to stay ahead of it. And oh, so definitely. Get behind you, mommy. Hey, good morning, mamas. Hi. Yeah. Can you tell us? <laughs> so hopefully, we can go for a little walk today around the unit, because that will really help getting out of this atmosphere. That feel better? Oh yeah. None of just laying down stuff anymore. Please. <laughs> Please, mom. No more laying down. Look at this. There you go. She hasn't really lived life without her pacifier yet. She's had some good bouts, but for the most part, she needs that pacifier to soothe herself. Huh. We go without it for a minute. What do you think? Look at you. You hold it for a second. Are there so many fun things to look at? Yeah, just don't let me down. You okay? Say you doing hi. good? Yeah. Say hi, Dada. <coughs> Boof. <laughs> oh, so going back a little bit. You're okay. Yeah, you're okay. Yesterday was a hard day. So we're picking it back up today. Yeah. Yeah. Can you show us a smile and say, yeah, I'm getting better. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sleeping pretty well. I sleep right there. It's now a pull-out chair versus a pull-out bed over in the ICU. And I'm actually shockingly sleeping pretty well. I laid down on it the first night and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> it was not super soft. And just you can feel each cushion um but i think i'm just exhausted and i'm a pretty great sleeper so i've been able to sleep through the night because cassidy sleeps through the night yeah because her feeding is running um continuously at the moment which is how they do it and then we will consolidate to running over two hours and then eventually one hour and kind of wing down like that and make sure your tummy can handle it yeah oh <gasps> we should be celebrating one week ago at 5.15, you were yeah. back in the ICU and I believe mommy and daddy were being kicked out because you need to have blood taken off of your heart. There's a little hematoma and fluid and all that around her heart that they had to drain and put another their chest tube. Oh no, what are we gonna do? But it's on the floor. I don't know what to tell you. I can't even trick you with that different one, huh? Baby, you're a high roller. Do you know that? Oh. This is like first class. This is like your first little flight. You ready? <laughs> We broke out of the unit. 
We're on a little stroll, a little walk by ourselves. Let's go look at the windows. Look outside. We look outside. What do you think? We got to go on a walk. We're off the unit. We are literally a week ago. Mommy and Daddy were sitting right, I don't know, somewhere right there, waiting to go back after you were having surgery at the bedside. I can't believe that was last week. Seven days ago, today. And now we are strolling around the unit in a wagon. Like, say wow, I know. Okay, let's back up. Let's go back on the unit. We'll walk around the unit. Maybe we'll see some faces and that'll make us happy. Mm -hmm. 